It's a phosphorus bomb. It's so pretty. You idiot. It's gonna burn the whole area to a crisp. Let's get out of here. seen anything like it. I haven't a clue. Amaru! Hey, that's Amaru. Hey, Amaru, it's me, Amaru. You know that guy. He's a relative. Excuse me, sir, but we're picking up something very strange here. I've never seen anything like it. The atmospheric pressure on the east side of Mount Fuji is changing by the second. It's like a small typhoon. No, that's certainly not a typhoon. It's amazing to think all this power can be generated by one individual. <laughs> this is only a tiny example of what they're capable of. I'm beginning to understand why the organization is so interested in these people. They're valuable. Hmm. Pressure in the center of the typhoon is down to 800 millibars. It's generating localized torrential rain, three millimeters a second. Oh. Ah! Hajime! Now, let's have your explanation. Huh? You were supposed to be looking after Amaru, and now look what's happened. All right, all right, damn it. You don't have to tell me I screwed up. How's you yelling at me going to help the situation? It's too late for that. I know I screwed up. How do you suppose that makes me feel? I know it's my fault Amaru's turned into a dragon. Do you think I can't hear him screaming in pain? And it's my fault? Oh, my God, poor Amaru. What are we going to do to help him? This is East Fuji calling Fighter Command. We're being attacked from the air. Please provide us with immediate air support. Fighter Command, this is East Fuji calling. Please respond. We are under heavy attack from the air. Request immediate air support. They're not receiving us, sir. That thing's generating a powerful magnetic force field which is jamming all frequencies. It's cut us off. Mr. Gozen, sir, you've got to tell me what that thing is. Our weapons are useless against it. There's no need for you to know anything about that creature, General. Just keep fighting it. That's all I require you to do. Now return to your post. Command East Fuji, this is Red Eagle One. We have received part of an emergency call. Please provide more details. East Fuji, respond, please. This is Red Eagle One. We are now within two kilometers of you. What the hell is that? Ah! I had been told the Black Dragon King of the North could control the weather as he pleased. <laughs> but it seems his powers go way beyond controlling the weather. they'd managed to corner one of us instead of Amaru. I don't understand what you mean. Well, Amaru's the youngest and most vulnerable. He can't control his powers as well as we can. 
If it had been one of us they'd got to, maybe this wouldn't have happened. I think it was deliberate. I'm sure Gozen knows all that, and that's why he picked on Amaru. Yeah, I guess you're right. Still, it's easy to be wise with hindsight. Is there anything we can do to get Amaru back to normal? I don't know. Maybe when his pain and anger subside, he'll return to human form. I hope so. But what happens if his pain and anger last forever? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'll become a dragon one day as well! Immediately. What's the matter, General? Can't you fight in the rain? You're a great disappointment to me. Uh, Mr. Gozen, Unit 101 has been completely destroyed. Really? I'm surprised they lasted as long as this. No matter, they were expendable. Now will you tell the doctor to prepare my injection? Yes, sir. We're ready to give you the injection, Mr. Gozen. Anyone see what's happened? He just fell out of the sky. Or maybe goes and made him fall. Come on, let's go! I cannot claim to be a dragon king. However, I do possess powers very similar to your own. <laughs> Many years ago in Ryoshenko, I killed the dragon woman and drained her body of blood. It made me very ill for several months, but once I recovered, I was able to enjoy the greatness of a dragon body and all its powers. <laughs> During the last war, and indeed after it, there have been many attempts on my life, but all have been futile thanks to my dragon's body, which cannot be hurt by knives, bullets, or swords of any kind. Now, young dragons, give me some of your blood. Once I drink from your veins, I shall once again recapture my youth and vigor. <sighs> Where's Amaru? What's happened? 
to him. Where is he? writhing in pain at the bottom of that abyss. You see, even as a dragon, he could not defeat me. If I had been given his dragon powers, I would know exactly how to use them to their greatest effect. As you can see, I did not waste one drop of the blood from the female dragon I killed.